This video is part of section 3 of our video tutorials and explains how to construct the maxillary posterior region of reference and applying voxel-based registration. Applying the voxel-based registration at the maxilla posterior region of reference is the first step after the approximation of the scans either with transforms or landmark registration and the construction of the maxilla segmentation. The next step would be to create the segmentation of the missing areas and the construction of color maps. Load the T1 scan and T1 maxilla segmentation into ITK Snap. Click Load as Segmentation. Click Update Mesh to see the 3D model of the maxilla. In order to make the segmentation thicker, change the Active Drawing label to yellow as commonly used for the maxilla, and the draw over option to all labels. Click the snake icon and alter the red lines to select the maxilla. Once complete, click segment 3D on the left toolbar and select the image edges. Slide the three bars as needed, then click OK. Skip adding bubbles now and click Next. Click Set Parameters and for Balloon Force, slide the bar to be positive. Set Curvature Force value between 2.3 and 3.0. Then we mark the Evection Force around 3. Click Accept. View as you wish. Then press play to run the program. If you want to stop and see how the 3D model is coming along, click Update Mesh. After the maxilla gets thicker, click Finish and save the new maxilla segmentation by clicking Segmentation and Save as Image. Choose a directory and type .gipl.gz at the end. After it's saved, click File and Unload All Images to clear so you can open the new files. Load the T1 scan and T1 maxilla segmentation into ITK Snap. Click Load as Segmentation and then click Update Mesh to see the 3D model of the maxilla. Now we need to cut off some regions of the maxilla to just have the posterior region of reference. Align the maxilla so you have a good view. For Active Drawing Label, select Clear Label and for Draw Over, Select the maxilla's color, in this case, yellow. Select the scalpel icon, then click an initial point, then a second point to create the slice and set the plane. To apply the plane, click Accept, then click Update Mesh to see the modifications applied. In order to do that, Select the scalpel and select Active Drawing Label as Clear and Draw Over as a maxillary color. To use the knife, use your cursor to make the cut and set the plane.
To apply the plane, click Accept, and then Update Mesh to see the modifications applied. Sometimes, you might want to change the Active Drawing label to any other color in order to keep some regions or to erase others after upcoming steps. Here, we sped up the changes, but make sure to take your time. When finished with all the cuts, the segmentation is ready to be saved. Go to Segmentation on the upper left corner and select Save as Image. Choose the directory and remember to type .gipl.gz at the end so that it can be saved as a compressed ripple to save some space. Launch 3D Slicer and load the T1 and T2 scans, the T1 maxilla thicker segmentation, and the T2 maxilla posterior region of interest for segmentation. Select the option Centered for all the files. We checked Label Map for the thicker segmentation and the posterior region of interest segmentation. To start the voxel-based registration, go to Modules, then CMF registration, then voxel base registration, and finally growing registration or non growing registration depending on the age of the patient. Under Select Input Files on the left toolbar, for Baseline Scan Fixed, select the T1 scan. For Baseline Segmentation Fixed, select the T1 Mandible Segmentation. For follow-up scan, moving, select the T2 scan, and for follow-up segmentation, moving, select the T2 mandible segmentation. Beneath that, the voxel-based registration options provide different ways to alter the scale. The first option, rigid plus scale 7 DOF, is the most often used, but if it for some reason doesn't work, and the registration fails, the other two might fix it. For output registration matrix, select 
create new linear transform or apply registration matrix at input segmentation to be registered. Select the T2 mandible segmentation. For both output registered segmentation and output registered scan, select the option create new volume. Next, click apply and let the software run. We sped it up quite a bit. You can check the results by comparing the T1 scan with the output registered scan by clicking the tiny little pin icon and selecting the double caret icon and the double rings icon if they are not already selected. Select the scans and move the crossfade bar up and down to change the transparency. Don't forget to save the files by clicking the Save button at the upper left corner. Save the Output Registered Scan, Output Registered Segmentation, and Registration Matrix. If needed, change the file names, formats, and directories.